How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And do Max have a built-in VPN? Now you are able to establish a VPN connection on your Mac, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna be able to uh, bypass geo restrictions or change your IP address or make yourself anonymous. This is just simply a VPN configuration uh, within your Mac. And if you wanna be able to do that, you can go to the support.apple.com and in the user guide, you can find the set up a VPN connection on Mac. But do not mistake this with a third party VPN client because a third party VPN client or a commercial VPN, uh, you're going to be able to change your IP address, encrypt your traffic, uh, you'll be able to torrent safely and unblock streaming services, and you'll have a whole bunch of servers to choose from. Now, there are many VPN clients available on your Mac, so you can click the link in the description down below for the best three VPNs. I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs. I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation and where you're looking for out of these VPNs. All you need to do to use a VPN on your Mac, just sign up for a VPN service, and then download and install the VPN client on your computer. Once the client is installed, you can use it to connect to a VPN server and secure your internet connection. Some VPN clients may have additional features such as NordVPN. You've got a bunch of bonus features with NordVPN while still remaining to be very reasonably priced. You've got over 5,400 servers in 59 countries and you'll be able to secure six devices simultaneously with just one subscription. It's a very well-rounded option that offers a lot of value for the money. And ExpressVPN will be a premium option that offers over 3,000 servers in 94 countries. And you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription. And you have the necessary security features. But overall, it's a very minimalistic VPN that just gets the job done very efficiently, reliably, and consistently. It's a VPN with a heavy emphasis on utmost anonymity and privacy, but it comes with a premium price. So you can go for a cheaper option such as NordVPN, but if you're looking for an even cheaper option, you can go with Surfshark. It's the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without really sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you need to keep your devices secure. And you'll be able to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. You've got over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. And it's just a great VPN overall. So while on your Mac, you can set up a VPN connection. It is no match for a third party VPN client, uh, which will give you access to all of these benefits. And you know you can bypass, again, all kinds of restrictions and unblock services that may not be available to you otherwise. Uh, so if that's what you're looking for, be sure to check out the reviews of these VPNs below if you want to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And you'll find links to pricing discounts if you'd like to get straight to that. Either way, they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.